Wisconsin is a state nestled in the Midwest known for its unique charm. Crack open any travel brochure, and you'll find national sports teams, local points of interest, and bustling urban centers surrounded by beautiful countryside. Citizens of the Dairy State are fortunate to live in a place with a rich cultural heritage. If you live here long enough, though, sometimes the cheap beer, mountains of cheese, and Sunday Mass get to be a bit routine. Hidden among the state's urban and rural attractions are areas well off the beaten path. You'll never get a recommendation to visit them because most are off limits to the average visitor. However, if you seek a break from the mundane, Wisconsin is a great place for an urban exploration adventure. Urban exploration, or urbex for short, is the infiltration of property considered off-limits to the general public. Abandoned buildings, tunnels, sewer systems, and even restricted areas of buildings currently in use are all considered potential targets for urban explorers. Let's go to Appleton, Wisconsin to speak to two experienced urban explorers. Stephen Brett Stoddard and Alan Mullen are photographers with extensive urban exploration collections published on the internet. Mr. Stoddard has been participating in urbex for about 20 years, long before there was even a name for urban exploration. His portfolio includes a wide variety of diverse urban exploration targets. In his work, Mr. Stoddard no longer sees just decaying buildings, but something else entirely. To me, it is exploring modern ruins, um, places that have over the years been left to rot, and they're not going anywhere, they really are going somewhere. They're not quite ancient ruins, but they're ruins of a modern time. Mr. Mullen has been participating in Urbex for about a year and a half. His targets are primarily the many abandoned rural farmhouses that dot the expansive countryside. Mr. Mullen can explain what it is that compels him to create such images. It's still very much curiosity. I like to try to figure out, uh, you know, maybe when uh, it was abandoned and, and sometimes you can try to make a guess as to why and uh, try to figure out the lives of the people a little bit. While many abandoned buildings are devoid of human ephemera, some contain a treasure trove of information. Other places there's everything, bank records, phone bills, you name it, uh, medicine still left in a cabinet, toilet paper still on a toilet paper roll in the bathroom. Unfortunately, not everyone who goes to an abandoned building is interested in modern archaeology. I'm just observing and kind of reporting and, and showing this property and that's all I'm doing. I'm not there to steal, I'm not there to vandalize, I'm not there to, to you know, leave my mark on the property. Those who participate in urbex are not to be confused with vandals. Unlike vandals, urban explorers leave their discoveries in the same condition that they have found them. A good urban explorer will not damage or deface property. Like any other natural treasure, the property should be left for future urban explorers to enjoy. Vandals just give urban explorers a bad name. The public oftentimes does not differentiate between the two groups. Perhaps there is a good reason for that. Really, I don't consider myself a criminal. You know, it's possible I've been in a place or two that, that wasn't legal to get into. All right, slow down for a second there, John Dillinger. Okay, so urban exploration may not be the most legal activity in the world. Most abandoned properties still reside in the hands of a legal owner. If you are going to enter a property, be prepared to assume the risks. If you are caught by the authorities or landowner, you may end up with a citation for trespass. Um, it is trespassing. To me, that's kind of a gray area. In the state of Wisconsin, uh, on the state level, it is $232 trespass to land. $260 trespass to dwelling. You, a police officer cannot give you a trespassing ticket. The landowner actually has to be the one to press charges. It's basically just an ordinance violation. It's no more than a glorified parking ticket. For many urban explorers, the legal gamble is well worth the risk.
Once urban explorers publish their photos online, the striking end results usually garner positive attention. Some of that attention is from people who want to break into the world of urbex. However, experienced urbexers are reserved about to whom they reveal locations. You can't just go out and start asking and begging without anything to give back. The more private or undiscovered they can, they can remain, the better for these places to stay. Uh, and for the, the true hardcore urban explorers, it'll make it better for them too because if, you know some places start to get a lot of people through them and things will change and they'll start to board it up, they'll start to watch it. And if somebody has something to offer, I have no problem giving back. Um, I've been in their shoes before. I know how hard it is to get started. And that's where putting the mileage on really helps you start to build your own little list. Sharing your photos, observations, and discoveries are the best ways to build up a reputation in the urban exploration community. If you can demonstrate that you are responsible to other urbexers, they will be more ready to reveal some of Wisconsin's best-kept secrets to you. One of the biggest thrills of urbex, however, is discovering something entirely new on your own. Take the road less traveled, slow down. Uh, going 80 miles an hour down the freeway, you're not going to find too many places. You might see uh, something off the side and go, ooh, what was that? But go the back roads. Take the roads that used to be the major roads that are now cut off from everything. Take the road less traveled. Abandoned buildings are the remnants of humanity's path. We walk along the road, leaving artifacts along the way. Urban explorers seek out humanity among that decay. Wisconsin's entropy is full of life and activity, and urban explorers are there to document it before it fades away.